Matt, I think this is your first time on, is that right? Yes, it is my first time. All right, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I've been a passive ARI supporter for several years, uh, but I'm finally ready to uh, make the effort to become more involved. And uh, a lot, some of that was motivated by I'm about to become a father. So it just, it just occurred to me Very that nice. I want to clarify my own ideas and instincts so I have this new person joining me with a you know fresh start. So I'd like to get him or her, um, you know, just with the right mental footing, start going into their life. Sure, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So I wanted to start off with uh, something I thought of, and I think is true, and, and see your thoughts on it. It was a uh, you know so many things in the world as it is today, you know that I find to be immoral and and from an objectivist point of view. But it occurred to me that I, it seems to my observation that most people want to be moral. Most people try to be moral. They just have the wrong moral code, something like altruism or some religion. I thought that was a positive sign for the future that most people, it seems like they do have the intention to be moral. Yes, I, I, I think absolutely. I think human beings need morality. They need guidance. They, they need to know what's right and wrong. They want that. The challenge with altruism is, and, and they, so they want to be moral, and then they are confronted by altruism, which doesn't really give them guidance and doesn't really advance their life. And then so many of them become cynical or skeptical or, or abandon, not completely abandon morality, but kind of wing it and become more pragmatic. And again, most people are split or divided. They, they, they have some self-interest in them and they, they couldn't live otherwise. They pursue certain values rationally. Again, they couldn't survive if they didn't. They have this nagging uh, altruistic thing in the back of their head that says, but you should be doing this, which results unfortunately in, in guilt and in voting in, in, in very bad ways and, and other things like that. And then, and then they have a part of them that kind of tries to get away with stuff because they know their morality is not practical. And, and I've always thought this is, this is our in, right? I think the in objectivism has is, hey, wouldn't you like to have a morality that's actually practical? Wouldn't you want a morality that actually leads to success and happiness where you don't have to feel guilty for, being, for, for doing things that actually promote your own life? I, I think at the end of the day, that is our strength. And it, it's, it's, uh, it's what we should be advocating but it's it's still very hard to yank people away from the altruism particularly altruism has done a phenomenal job not only presenting people with the idea that theirs is the only morality but also with the uh, with straw manning uh, selfishness i mean i i i was at the de i did this debate with uh you know uh, uh mackey um john mackey the ceo of whole foods on friday on thursday and John Mackey is a, a, a smart guy, a very successful entrepreneur, a nominally pro-capitalist, right? Uh, considers himself a libertarian, pro-capitalist, uh, um, has been exposed to objectivism, has read Ayn Rand. And the whole time he was strawmanning selfishness and strawmanning objective, the objectivist ethics. And here's a guy who by every measure should know better and, and, and obviously a smart guy, a thinker, right? He couldn't be as successful as he is without that. Exposed to it directly from Ayn Rand and through people like John Allison. And yet he's still straw manning it. It's still true that uh, objectivists don't care about other people and uh, selfishness is about, you know, being nasty to other people and doing horrible things. And uh, it, it just, you know, it just was bizarre. So, but that's the challenge uh, that we are, that we're indeed facing. So um, it's, it's hard. It's hard to get the altruism out of them. Thanks, Matt. Uh what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, 
not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes but uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.